Hi. Okay, we're going to do our chalk lab where we're going to make chalk from sodium carbonate and calcium chloride. So the first step is to measure out the right amounts of each of those substances. I'm going to use these little weighing dishes like this. Put one on the balance and hit the zero button. Let me move it so you can see. There's a little button right here that says zero. So that's going to make the balance read zero, even with the dish on it. And then I can weigh out the amount I need. I'll start with the sodium carbonate. And I need 2.50 grams of that. All right, so that reads 2.496, which is fine because I only need three significant digits and that would round to 3.50. So I'm going to leave it right there. And I'm just going to pour this into my first beaker of water. Already contains 50 milliliters of distilled water. I'm going to do the same thing for calcium chloride. I need 3.5 grams of calcium chloride. Oh, there we go, 3.5 grams. I'm gonna add that to my other beaker. And I'm gonna let these dissolve. Okay, after a bit of stirring, we get these solutions where they have completely dissolved. And I'm just gonna pour one into the other. And you can see that we get this white precipitate. It's a little bit chunky. It's definitely got a precipitate in it. So we're gonna, that's what we're gonna be filtering out. Uh, we're gonna need filter paper, so we need the mass of that. I'm gonna zero the balance. And that has a mass of 1.090, so we should record that mass, 1.09 grams. And then I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to fold my filter paper in half and then in half again so that I get this funnel shape. And when I open it up to put it in my funnel, I'm going to make sure I have three layers on one side, one layer on the other side so that it fits into my funnel like this. And if it doesn't stay, you may want to just add a little bit of water, distilled water, of course. So now I just need to filter that um, product out. And it takes a little while. You're gonna have to let it drip for a while and then add more because we don't wanna overfill our funnel. So once we've emptied our beaker, 
we want to make sure to wash it out. We can see that there's still some product left in it. So we're going to use distilled water and rinse it out so that all that product that we produce, or at least as much as possible, ends up in our filter paper. So any that, remain, any that remains on the sides of our beaker, we want to make sure we put in our funnel. We want to keep in mind that the solution that's running through the filter paper, this that's coming out into the beaker, is not just water. It also contains any spectator ions. So we want to make sure that we rinse the captured pre precipitate so that we get all of those spectator ions off and that the only thing that remains in the funnel is the precipitate itself. It's probably still going to be a little bit wet, but we want it to be wet with just water, no extra ions. And then once the water has filtered through and we don't have any more drips, we can just pull the filter paper out of the funnel and leave it to dry. We'll come back tomorrow and mass it once it's dry to see what our actual yield was and compare that to our theoretical yield.